Hey gang, so you can see that we have the ebb and flow going. It, there's, you can see a lot of sediment in the bottom there. I'm cleaning that out. It has to do with the rocks. As much as I, I did try and do a good job of um, cleaning them off, they, they always have some fine powder. So have them in smart pots and they're just now starting to recover, most of them. Um, here's the chocolate pepper, and actually I probably wouldn't have done this I, had I seen that guy on there. I may not have transplanted them when I did. These roots were huge, and I moved them from, that's the tomato, a lot of other pots. Have them just sitting in here towards the other end. Now you can see there's the rail over there, right? And this is going to end up probably that whole rack, or I may move you can't see it right now, but I may move to the edges of um, the actual room those rails and put lettuces and strawberries in them. Seems to do pretty well. Actually, that pepper is really starting to acclimate. And I think now that it's getting some of this light from my PLC right up here. Um, and I have another one coming that, that that's going to help that a lot. Tomatoes. Holy mackerel, still really going crazy over there. That Mars Hydro, I you can hardly see it. And I keep uh, keep trying to put them down with the, you know, put all the, the branches down and bring them down towards this light, but that's not working so well, you can see. <laughs> Way up there, Jeff. Okay, so there you go. You can see how this starts to fill. Um, <clears throat> comes up here. This is a half inch. No, yeah, half inch tubing up and three quarters down. So the water comes up here and then it starts to drain back there. I do have a short riser on there and it, this will continue to fill until it hits the level of two. And then it'll, I have them set for um, 11 minutes. I'll show you that. Okay, so here's the timer, and I do have it set for four times a day right now because I just transplanted a whole bunch of these plants, and they actually are, um, you know, they, they had some good established roots, so I want to make sure I give them a good start. I have um, set them for 11 minutes, four times a day, during the light cycle. So that's there. Right now, That's you can see it's set to auto. I did override it just a minute ago, so you, you can do that. Um, and then this is the reservoir. It's really hard to see in here. It's it's not on now, but um, you don't have any air pumps or anything in there. It just runs based on um, you know when the water the water falls back into here, it aerates it and then it hits the tray. So like I said, these guys have now been in here 24 hours um, in the ebb and flow. You can see I'm I'm working on filling these um, up a little more, but I don't want to overfill it. I want to I'm gonna top fill as needed because like I said these roots were really a step. we should be getting some tomatoes that cucumber over there is not real happy I told you that I'm kind of just letting that play out and then if I can get it from here I'll try I don't know if I can um, let's see you can see those that pepper is really doing nice look at how big it is now so those plants up there are receiving Fox Farm the plants in the re whoops in the ebb and flow the plants in the ebb and flow are receiving can of nutrients so we'll see how um what the difference is i'm noticing uh you know that they're rebounding really quickly but whether or not that would have happened anyways i can't really say that is the eggplant still have that little tomato there this is the tomato in here there's a pepper and then of course the the ground cherry <laughs> it's doing really well I um, had a few questions on it. The ground cherry, um, they tend to spread, so the roots are not really deep. They have more of a, a broader, bright, broader path for their roots. So I've given this a little bit more root depth underneath. I have not trained it or anything. I'm, I'm hoping it's going to climb up here a little bit and get out of the way. But um, the other question I received was about the lights. And um, I keep them on 18 hours on, 6 hours off. Y you know, you can adjust that, you know, as they start to flower more and develop more fruit, you might want to turn that down a little bit. And 
there you have it. Hope that was helpful to you. And um, more to come in the near future. I do have a second PLC coming, <clears throat> I think, this week. So that's going to be up top here. So that is going to add a little bit more light to this area. We'll get some more plants in here, get some seeds started. Don't forget, as soon as I hit 50 um, subscribers, we'll do the... Um, giveaway for the the seeds and hopefully that's really soon so subscribe tell your friends and as always peace out